So where can you fly from a reopened Plymouth airport? Well, on the reintroduction of um, passenger air services, we'd like to see destinations such as Glasgow and Edinburgh reconnected. Uh, we'd also see, like to see Manchester and Newcastle, which are um, they take a long time to get to by road and rail from Plymouth today. Uh, we'd also see, like to see destinations uh, back into London, uh, particularly London City, uh, for journey time savings for business. Um, I mean, it's, it's a little way out yet, but there will be a new runway in the southeast uh, built in the next 10 years, and, and it's our intention to lobby, uh, make sure that uh, the southwest gets connections back into that, and, and that Plymouth will be given a slice of the benefits uh, because the government has you know, dropped the ball on regional transport over decades, and, and it's time for them to start to, to backfilling and, 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 and helping us catch up. So um, there's some really valuable domestic destinations. Destinations such as Dublin and Manchester give on really good onward connectivity to um, the United States and China and, and those developing markets. And over, uh, over the medium term, that's going to add real value and opportunity for Plymouth for investors coming this way. Lastly, there's opportunity. And in Plymouth, historically, you, you could fly out of there to um, uh, Amsterdam, Belgium and um, to, to Paris. Uh, and the, 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 the value of going to those places, again, is that you connect into hubs with long-term, sort of long-haul uh, onward destinations and so on. This all makes Plymouth a very, very well-connected uh, city and it's all possible off of Plymouth Airport.